All right, you guys, we're on day three of the crackle paste experiment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look at days one and two. Um, I have to say, I'm not ever going to do it on paper again. Not when canvas and cradleboard work pretty darn well. Um, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so this is the Nara paper. You can see the crackles. Did really nice. Oh, look at that. Um, it did not adhere to, it did in some places. I don't even want to touch it. Um, but it didn't in all the places. So I actually took gobs of matte medium. It's not dry yet. I don't know what's going to happen. And put it over the top of that. Um, lifted some pieces over here. And put it under those. Okay, here's the whole piece. And I actually think it has the potential to be really cool. Um, but my order of operations was wrong. I guess if you wanted to try this, what I would do is first I would adhere your paper to cradle board. You can see I did this after and that's not ideal. Um, I did decide to adhere it and then I would put the crackle paste on it. But I'm telling you what, I don't know why it didn't adhere. Maybe it's Maybe it's the Nara paper itself. Maybe it would work on a different type of paper. Um, you know, Nara paper wipe, wipes back to clean. It's, it's a little bit different than some of the other papers. So maybe that's it. But if you can adhere it to the cradle board first, then you've got a little more flexibility in um, working with the top of it. But because I already put the, the crackle paste on it, I oh, see there's a loose piece just touch it and it moves but not all of it so it's super fragile uh, I will probably I will paint it and then maybe I will um, flood it with something maybe with some resin I'm not a hundred percent but I am gonna see this through to the end and see what happens now for the canvas so here is the canvas overall I'm zoom in here and you can see that beautiful crackle that I've gotten. Some pretty cool texture. All right, all right, did the edges. So the edges are super thin and you see they did not crack. So when people say they got bad crackle paste or it didn't work, it could just be too thin. Even right there, get that to focus, how thin that is. Um, I mean, that'll still show the cracks. You can see that. But it won't be like that stuff. All right. I do have this cradle board that I actually put that crackle paste on months ago. And I just haven't painted it yet. But you can see how beautifully cracked that is. You can see the thickness. Right, so, and it is, oh, there is a little texture to this board. So that's what I have so far. The canvas, absolutely would do that again. Um, paper, ooh, I don't know how that's gonna turn out. And I almost feel like I'm using a lot of supplies to do this, right? Because now I've got it on a cradle board, the matte medium, the crackle paste. I'm, I will paint it and I'll probably resin it just to kind of see and see if I can turn it into something that um, is a piece of art, right? <laughs> and that doesn't fall apart, most importantly. Um, and then the cradle board that I just showed you at the end there is, um, I'm actually going to add some other uh, textures on there. I've got a lot of different things. I'm looking around. I've got molding paste and tile adhesive and all sorts of other things. I'm going to add different things on there to get some other different effects before I go ahead and paint that. I'm going to paint the other two today. So you can tune in tomorrow to see that. Thank you.